This is how you take a Phantom 2 body shell apart. Tools that you will need, small Phillips screwdriver and a 2mm Allen driver. There are three screws per leg holding the body together. You have one, two, three hex screws and one Phillips screws. First we'll remove is the hex screws. Do this for each of the legs. Okay, once you've got all the screws out, that's ready to lift the lid. So we just flip it over, take off these, and lift your lid. And that's you now inside the Phantom. One thing to remember when you're putting your body shell back on the top, it is imperative that the body top goes back on the same way. Make sure that you see the pattern on the leg matching back up again. You can see where the stickers go, so you make sure you've got it on one leg and you've also got it on the other leg. Otherwise, if you get the top on 90 degrees out, your Phantom won't fly properly. These are the two cables available for a plug and play setup on the Phantom 2. So these would be Phantom 2 to either Fat Shark or Immersion RC or Phantom 2 to IOSD Mini on screen display and then to Fat Shark or Immersion RC video transmitter. Now the two are, that's the Phantom end, then you have mini IOSD and then your two connectors for either that goes to the video and that is the power of your Fat Shark or Immersion RC transmitter or you have this one which will just go straight from Phantom to the transmitter. Now for the fitting we're going to be using this one. So the first thing you need to do, first the best thing to poke because you've got to poke this through the small undercarriage hole so if you just bend over the connector like that and then just okay first thing we need to do is to remove the old AV cable which is in here so we just pull that back through just feed it back through and then just give it a firm wee tug and then it just pops out and then just put that aside so before we start if you just take your cable and then just bend the end and then it basically just pokes through the small hole in the undercarriage that the Zemuse cable goes through. So we just pop that through, and then it pops through like that. You can then straighten it, and then it's just a case of plugging it into the small connection here. Only thing to check is the pins are offset to one side and they're offset to here. So make sure you line them up correctly before you push it in, otherwise, you can damage the pins. So we just lay that over the connection and then just a little bit of pressure on both sides and that's it plugged in and then we can just basically lay it to the side and that's ready to have the top put back on. Fitting a Fat Shark video transmitter with mini IOSD and custom cabling. First thing we need to do is we need to put some sticky tape on the Fat Shark transmitter. Press on there. And this will stick to the base. Now you need to have it off to one side. Two reasons is it's so you can still take the battery out and you can get your fingers in. But also in this version we'll be fitting a mini OISD which will need to be fitted there. So first thing to do is to fit the cabling 
for the IOSD. Now the connector, the pins are offset once again and that corresponds with the IOSD. Like that. Now as the IOSD is CAN bus, this will come with a CAN bus cable and that will fit here to the CAN bus connection. So first thing to do, if we just stick the IOSD to the base of the Phantom, a little press, and then I find the best thing to do you then tuck the cabling round the back of the IOSD in between that and the fat short transmitter that keeps it out of the way. Now if we just feed the CAN bus system which the cabling on that, just turn that round, can easily just be tucked into the back of the leg and plugged in there and that can be secured in with tie wraps. Now all we have to do is connect the Fat Shark connections in. These are polarised connections so they can only go in one way. Like that. Now as this is the Phantom 2 with the 3 axis gimbal which will be fitted here, we can actually, once the cabling's on, you can actually, the gimbal is on, you can actually hide the cabling underneath the actual bracket. But first we need to fit the actual bracket. 